Good morning, friends. First of all, let us lo uh, look at the yesterday's trading session. The key benchmark indices extended losses for the seventh straight trading session owing to weakness in auto, IT, and metal stocks. The markets eventually ended off the day slow as banking shares uh, ended with some gains. The Sensex started the day with a weak note at 59,330 amid weak global queues and tumbled to a low of 58,938. Similarly, Nifty uh, dipped below 17,000. 300 an important technical level the sensex eventually ended the day with a loss of 176 points at 59288 and in the process has now shed 2000 points in the last seven straight trading sessions nifty signed off with a loss of 73 points at 17393 banks continue to wreak havoc in the domestic market as the largest data releases from the us heightened the existing worries of aggressive rate hikes the personal consumption expenditure in the us which is fed's key monetarable of inflation increased in january pressuring investors to stay away from equities market the us dollar index surpassed 105 adding further pressure on the inr vinod nair head of research at geojit financial services said on a note among the sensex 30 shares banking majors led the recovery icici bank jumped over two percent Kotak Bank and SBI were the other prominent gainers. Power Grid Corporation and NDPC also gained with significant gains. On the other hand, Tata Steel cracked 3%. Infosys, Tata Motors, TCS, Mahindra and Mahindra, LNT and HCL Tech were other the major losers. Coming to the today's global queues, the Dow Jones yesterday closed up by 72 points and NASDAQ closed up by 72 points. And as of now, SGX Nifty is trading flat. So we can expect a flat opening in the Nifty today. And the stocks in news, the first stock is Z Entertainment Enterprises. The National Company Law Appellate Tribunal, that is NCLAT, has granted a stay on the NCLT order with respect to IBC proceedings initiated against Z. Accordingly, Z will move out of the IBC framework and the corresponding surveillance actions on the company will be reverted. So we can expect a up move in the stock of Z Entertainment. The second stock in news is Mastic. The IT services company has signed a strategic partnership with Natail to help e-commerce and omnichannel retailers optimize their retail value chain and thereby attract, convert and retain digital consumers. So we can expect a up move in the stock of Mastech. The third stock in news is NHPC. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has given its approval for incurring expenditure on pre-investment activities and various clearances for Diabang multi-purpose project in Arunachal Pradesh for rupees 1600 crore. The project is by, being developed by NHPC and the estimated co total cost of the project is rupees 28,000 crore. The estimated completion period for the project will be 9 years from the receipt of government sanction. This is the largest ever hydroelectric project to be constructed in India. So we can expect an up move in the stock of NHPC. The fourth stock in news is Wipro. The IT services company has announced four strategic global business lines to deepen alignment with client priorities. The company will seek clients evolving business needs and capitalize on emerging opportunities in high growth segments of the market. So we can expect an up move in stock of Wipro as well. And talking about yesterday's predictions that we had made, the power grid was up by 2.16%, IRB infra was up by 5.36% and tube investments was up by 3.49%. Thank you.